Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, this is hashtag AskBHUD, the big, hairy, ugly dude. I have a couple questions in this video. I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys, so I'm going to start putting a couple questions in each video. Um, the first question is from Twitter. It's from Dylan Watts. Before I get into, whoa, we went dark. Before I get into that question, guys, if you have a question for me, you can check out the information below. Hit up Twitter, hit up Instagram with AskBHU hashtag, or hit up my Facebook page. I'd be glad to help you guys out. Now, the first question is from Dylan Watts on Twitter. It says, basically, Dylan is 276 pounds. He calculated his body fat to be around 20.5%, and he's wondering how to calculate his macros at about a 10% deficit, wondering if, if uh, you know, what kind of macros are going to impact his strength gains the most and the least, or strength performance the most and the least. First off, Dylan, as far as I understand your question, there's one thing you need to understand. Um, at 276 pounds, if, you, uh, if you're telling me that you're about 20.5% body fat, this is way off. This is extremely off. Um, you're probably more like 32 to 35% body fat, if not 40% body fat. Uh, most guys that are about 5 foot 10, um, which I am, if you had the most amount of muscle you could have as a natural, that would be about 178 to 180 lean body mass. And that would be about 33% body fat at 276 pounds. You're probably closer to 40, 42% body fat at that weight. So just know that going in. Now, as far as a calorie deficit, here's what you need to understand. You need to start at about 300 calories below your maintenance level. This will help you maximize strength. Can you gain strength at this level? Possibly. If your strength levels are well below, say, intermediate levels, you, can still, you could still gain strength at this level. There is a good chance if you have built a quality amount of strength already that you will lose some strength. It's very difficult to go from 276 pounds down to, say, 210, 220, 200 pounds without losing strength. Don't be disheartened. Remember, your goal is to regain your health, regain your appearance, and you, you're going to have some strength losses during this time, odds are. So don't worry about it. Get that weight off and then focus on attacking the strength. Now, as far as macros go, as far as macros go, here's what I recommend. Aim for at least 160 to 180 grams of protein per day. Okay, now that you got the protein out of the way, aim for about 20 to 25 to 30 percent, 20 to 30 percent of your daily calories, your daily calories from fats. So now we have your protein calculated. Now we have your fat calculated. Fill in the rest of your daily calories with carbohydrates, quality carbohydrate sources. So whatever your calorie level is, and I want you to start about 300 below maintenance level, have about 160, 180, maybe up to 200 grams of protein per day, then 20 to 30 percent of your daily calories from fats and the rest from carbs. Do you need to nail all these macros down? No, you're not a bodybuilder. You need to be in these ranges. That will help you maintain muscle mass, possibly build a little bit of strength or even a little bit of muscle if you haven't built any muscle yet and lose weight at a quality consistent rate um, and look your best when you're done. So I hope that has been of some help. All right, guys, I got another question from a huff 12 a underscore huff 12. This is off the Instagram. And this is a last question for this video. I'm doing two questions in this video. Um, he says, I'm semi new to the powerlifting world. I've run a couple of programs in the past. Today I started the Shiko program. If you have any background information on it, you could fill me in. I spent about three hours last night reading. I did one day of program number 37. I'm not too sure how to run it. I, I read you pick three of the number of workouts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, any insight you have would be appreciated. All right, well, look, Shiko is a very intense program. Um, you know, I'm not, 
I don't have a lot of personal experience with Shiko, but I have a lot of personal experience with training frequency. And here is what I want, the advice I want to give you. You have to be, you have to understand that you, it's, this is just a starting point. Shiko is just a starting point. You have to be willing to make changes, to make changes based on how your body is reacting to this program. Do you need to squat or bench four times a week to get results with the volume listed in Shiko? Maybe, maybe not. I benched um, a couple times a week. I squatted three times a week, and I did it to very heavy weight, but I had to restrict the volume. So what I'm trying to tell you is that sometimes it isn't necessary to train each lift four times a, di four times a week or whatever your frequency program is whatever is involved with your frequency program to see good results. So if you get into Shiko, if you get into a high frequency training program, my advice to you is if something doesn't feel right, don't just bail on it, make some adjustments. It's okay to make adjustments. A lot of times guys will get on programs and they'll say, hey, this is the gospel. Shiko is the gospel. Starting strength is the gospel. Whatever program is the gospel. Don't change the program. You know what? That is a load of crap. Most guys fail on these types of programs because they don't make modifications. They get on, they do a week, week and a half, they jump off the program. If you feel something needs to be changed, like the daily volume is too much, go ahead and lower it a little bit. If you feel training four days a week is too much, go ahead and lower it to three. Don't be afraid to make adjustments. Don't be afraid to make adjustments and see what happens. This isn't life or death. The adjustments might make or break the program for you and might make the difference between you jumping ship off the program and not seeing any gains and you staying on a program, tailoring it to your needs or what your body is telling you and making quality improvements. So that's the best advice I have for you. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions, check out the information below. You can hashtag AskBHUD, Big Hairy Ugly Dude, at Twitter or Instagram or hit my Facebook page. And I'll try to answer your questions. So, guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any 